I want to talk to everyone about my experience with the Seagate SSHD uh, new laptop hard drive. Uh, this is a SATA 1 terabyte and it's a solid state hybrid drive and there are some issues I want to walk, walk you through and save you some time. Um, first let's talk about the install. The install went really well and I went ahead and I used something called initially easy use Teda backup free version 6.0 and um, everything seemed to transfer really well. I went from a 500 gigabyte to a, a one terabyte and everything's going great until um, I had some problems where I couldn't, you know, I, and of course we did, we all do this. I installed a bunch of new stuff because I had all the room and the next thing I know, everything's going great until I noticed my virus protection isn't really updating. Then I'm using Windows Microsoft Security Central, so I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I didn't, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just Windows Update, and that should solve the problem. Then it wouldn't Windows Update. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe it's a permissions issue. So I spent a long time chasing that one. Turns out permissions are fine. So then I go ahead, and I use something called AOMI Partition Assistant. And AOMI was, it was cool. Um, it goes into a pre-OS where you got to reboot it, and it didn't, you know, takes about three hours and it took about three hours three and a half hours um, for the, the easy use to da and same problem and I'm like well what gives here so a lot of more a lot more said just searching and combing through the web and oh insane and you're like am I am I gonna have to take this back what so what I found out what's important for everyone is what I think is going on is I think that the dual system is being treated like a RAID. So, with that, if you have that problem, go immediately here first. And you're looking for, I'm just trying not to get a blink, this is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology RAID drivers. And I went ahead and, and got that, and I downloaded, uh, mine was F6 FLPY hyphen X64. Once I had that, Download it. It comes zipped. I expand it. You go to your start menu, my computer. There are other ways to get to this. Properties, device manager, disk, drivers, right click, update drivers, and then point it to, oops, sorry, then point it to the driver you want. And that solved problems. Suddenly, after I did that, I rebooted and all my issues went away. I was able to update Microsoft Security Essentials started working out really well and that if you run into this problem don't just go ahead and reinstall and do all that because it's a big pain in the butt takes a long time even with the drive so now let's talk about performance these guys run on a 5400 spin you know I originally had a Seagate Momentus with 7200 spin by the way when you change out drives do not wipe your old drive unless you really have to keep it around for about a good month and make sure everything's working great. Mine's actually sitting in my hard drive in my, my second bay of my laptop. I have a G73JH. Uh, it's sitting there as a, a backup operating system and B um, in, in case I need to access some file that didn't transfer correctly. I really recommend that. So now let's talk about um, now I've got it in place. I fixed that major problem and it's up and running. So what's going on? How's it work? 54 spins a little bit slower than the other one, but how it does is it loads a lot of it into what's got 64 gigabytes of, of, re, of NAND memory, and that retains it kind of like a solid state drive. So you're getting a solid state drive boost in certain areas, but you don't, it's not a solid state drive, but it's also not 500 bucks for the same size. So this one's a one terabyte. I got it through Best Buy. Um, just worked out that way. I decided to go to one. There is one on Amazon, but it turns out it's an older model. And since this is newer technology, I thought I should go to the later model and maybe have some of those bugs taken out. What I've noticed is on about the fourth to fifth restart or, or restarting of a program, it's extremely snappy. All those little uh, Microsoft gimmicky gadget things that come up, like um, when I loaded originally, my system took a while, but all these little side duties they come up really really fast um, the programs that I've used it on uh, that I use regularly word and all that those come up a lot more snapping too 
And I've also done some gaming stuff, uh, Mech Warrior Online, a little bit of Star Wars Online, um, Aliens vs. Predator. Yeah, I bought it, sue me. Um, the multiplayer net sucks. The game's not bad. Really short, though. Um, all these first person shooters that seem to respond very snappily. Um, no real problems. Uh, I did run into an episode, another reason why I said don't, don't blank your old drive. I ran into an episode um, just about four days ago. There was some sort of problem with the corruption of the boot when it went over. I, uh, I started up from the second drive, had did some, uh, I had told to go ahead and scan the drive, fix any imperfections, and then I rebooted onto the new, the new um, solid state hybrid drive. Problem solved. Booted up. I wouldn't boot at all at first. Booted up, no problems. Another reason to keep your old one around. I'm using mine as a backup OS right now. In about two months, I'll probably feel okay and safe with this technology all the way through, and then I might wipe the old one and and, and then uh, use that for storage or backup. Now, power usage. I've seen complaints by Mac users, which I originally dismissed, no offense, that the solid state hybrid drives have been absorbing a little more power. I had to get a new battery. Um, not related to this at all, just my old battery wore out. I got an aftermarket, so I can't swear that it that it's even still up to it, but it says it's 5,200 uh, milliamp hours. I have noticed that I only get in about an hour and six minutes time out of the new battery versus about an hour and 45 minutes. The uh, G73 SX model gets about four hours, three to four hours. I don't have that to test with this, but um, I would say there is some battery absorption by this. Now, sound-wise, it's just as quiet as the moment as 7200 spin. I don't really notice anything. Um, but, you know, uh, if you go to a program you haven't used before, it's obvious the moment this is faster at the 7200 spin. But I, I think that um, I think this is a really good product. I think when you use programs regularly, Word or games or things that you come up, and I use uh, like uh, Sam, AutoCAD as well. These all come up a little snappier. So I gotta say that this, um, so far, I would call this a buy. If you're looking for a drive replacement, um, follow those those protocols I, I showed you. But I think you could be pretty pleased with it. And I hope this helps. If anyone has any questions, let me know. I will do a follow up in about 30 days and let you know if I run into any other, any other issues or what my opinions are. Um, thanks a lot. And I hope this helps anyone. And again, comes in this box. And uh, catch you later.